Hi, so we'll, we will be looking at this question from the chapter of Lattice Energy and Crypto. This is from uh, June 2010, and it is paper 42 of Chemistry A-Levels. So let's start. Describe and explain how the solubilities of sulfates of crypto elements vary down the group. So first of all, you should remember that solubilities of crypto sulfates decrease down the group. So the first point, since it is of three marks, you should write at least three different points. So solubility Now that you have mentioned your main statement, you should give your reasoning for this. So always remember the enthalpy change of solution is what is involved in determining the solubility of, a, of an element, of a compound, sorry. So now this enthalpy change of solu solution is always dependent upon the enthalpy change of hydration and enthalpy change of lattice. So what happens is that as we go down the group the enthalpy change of hydration and enthalpy change of lattice are both decreasing both decrease but the thing is that enthalpy change of hydration decreases more significantly as compared to enthalpy change of lattice. So, uh, Hence, the enthalpy change of solution would is is less exothermic and, or you can say, more endothermic. And you know, since it is less exothermic, the solubility is decreased. Is less. So, three points for three marks. You can always use this formula of enthalpy change of solution to solve this kind of question. I'm writing the formula here. It is enthalpy change of solution is is basically enthalpy change of hydration minus enthalpy change of lattice energy so we said that we said that enthalpy change of hydration is decreasing more significantly that means um, that enthalpy change of lattice would be this is not very if the enthalpy change of hydration is decreasing more significantly than enthalpy change of 
lettuce would be greater than enthalpy change of hydration, right? And that would mean that enthalpy change of solution would be endothermic, and that's why it all proves that the solubility is decreasing. Moving on, the following table lists some enthalpy changes for magnesium and strontium compounds. So the values are given, okay, use the data, use the above data to calculate values of enthalpy change of solution for magnesium hydroxide and strontium hydroxide. So this is very easy, you just need to keep in mind this formula and you can use the has a cycle and solve this question so i would be doing this with the help of has a cycle so let's write an equation for lattice energy first since the value of lattice enthalpy is given for both of them so let's write an equation so in Firstly, what is lattice energy? It is the enthalpy change when one mole of an ionic compound is formed from its gaseous ions under standard conditions. So that would mean that uh, magnesium ion, which would be in gaseous state, is combining with the hydroxide ion, again in gaseous state, and giving one mole of magnesium hydroxide right okay so this is our equation of lattice energy let's label it lattice then what is uh, enthalpy change of hydration? It is the enthalpy change when one mole of gaseous ions is dissolved in excess water to give a very dilute solution under standard conditions. And how can we make the equation? Simply, it gives us the aqueous forms of these ions. So, magnesium would give when dissolved in excess water would give Mg. Uh, 2 plus aqueous and hydroxide would give 2 OH minus in aqueous form right then lastly enthalpy change of solution it is the enthalpy change when one mole of an ionic compound dissolves in excess water to form a very dilute solution under standard conditions. Now, we have the ionic compound and we have uh, the aqueous ions here. So we can just draw this one arrow to show enthalpy change of solution. And let's label all this. This is enthalpy change of solution. These are enthalpy changes of hydration of magnesium ion and hydroxide ion right now all the values are given let's make a equation and then solve so how we solve this is we make a clockwise circle and whatever is in the same direction as these arrows in the clockwise direction we are going to put that those values on one side and whichever values are in the opposite we are going to do put those values on the other side of the equation so that means let's look at the let's look at this letter synergy it is in the same direction as the clockwise uh, circle so that we can put this letter synergy value which is this one negative two nine nine three 
then this enthalpy of solution is also in the same direction as this clockwise circle and we have to find that out so we can put an x in place of that and then let's look at both the hydration values are in the opposite direction as compared to the clockwise circle so these two values are going to be on the other side of the equation but remember since the hydroxide ions are two we need to multiply this value by two so that would be on the other side of the equation uh negative one eight nine zero negative two into five fifty right solving for the x we will get the answer as positive three don't forget to write the sign now the other part of this question uh if you notice strontium is in the same group as magnesium which is group two so we don't really need to go through this process again and make this health cycle again we can just use this equation for strontium hydroxide as well and just change the values so let's put the value of uh, that is enthalpy which is negative two four six seven so negative two four six seven plus x is equals to uh negative one four one four two into five fifty and the answer would be negative forty seven use your results in one to suggest whether strontium hydroxide is more or less soluble in water than magnesium hydroxide state any assumptions you make so Uh, strontium hydroxide is more soluble than magnesium hydroxide let's put our main statement first Now, why is this? This is because the enthalpy change of solution of, of strontium hydroxide is more negative or more exothermic than uh, magnesium hydroxide. So the reason is because Now there is one more point we need to add here since uh, there are factors that can affect the solubility. So we need to write that this is true if factors like maybe temperature uh, are kept constant. So this point should be written. And you will know why in the next part of this question. Okay, third, suggest whether strontium hydroxide would be more or less soluble in hot water than in cold. Explain your reasoning. If we dissolve anything, it is a exothermic process. For example, this is a compound XY and I'm dissolving it in water. It forms the ions, aqueous ions. So now, since 
this process is exothermic. This forward process is exothermic. So if I'm I'm decreasing the temperature, the equi sorry no if I'm increasing the temperature, equilibrium will shift to this side right, since the process forward reaction is um this is a reversible reaction forward reaction is exothermic so if i'm increasing the temperature the equilibrium shifts onto the uh, compound side so that means the solubility would decrease so keeping in mind strontium hydroxide it would be less soluble in hot water and more soluble in cold water so strontium hydroxide more soluble in cold water as compared to as compared to hot water what is the reason is because this enthalpy change is exothermic. Basically, dissolving is exothermic. Or you can say, let me include that. That's it for this question.